day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. That's what now, the, I think that's what the blind guy said, right? No, that's that's the uh, Pharisee said that. It says, it says, therefore, verse 16, therefore says some of the Pharisees, this man, matter of fact, what I'm saying, because he did it on the Sabbath day. Okay, now that, that I see that, yeah. Yeah, they, they said, this man is not of God because oh, he keeps not the Sabbath. Others say, how can a man that is a sinner do such miracles? Right, so they had opposing views. One said he was a sinner because he was healing on the Sabbath, and the other one saying, like, wait a minute, if you weren't a God, he couldn't do these miracles. Well, I, I, I want to put it this way. I think they are all in one accord that he was a sinner. Well, the, check the next verse. <laughs> they couldn't understand. What do you check, think, Bishop? <laughs> check the next verse. Check, uh, the next, check the end of that verse right there. And it says, there was a division among them. I know. I know. But they were, they, were not, they, they were not on one accord with their view. Well, well let, let, let me make sure I understand it. I will ride with you and see if you see where I'm coming from. The division was how could he do this? But the one accord was they identified him as a sinner. Okay, you're saying they were both doing one accord with that, and then the question was how, how could he do? Even yeah. though he's a sinner, how is he doing this? Exactly. See my point? Mm -hmm, I see what you're saying. Because what they wanted to do is label, and just like we're talking about modern day 2020, the some parts of the government want to call the protesters terrorists, right? Yep. Looters, right? Murderers, right. right? Matter of fact, if you remember when the somebody did the opening campaign. They was talking about the people coming from the from the south to the border. What what was the title? What was the subject they gave? What was the titles he gave to describe about those people coming from the uh, Mexican border? Can't move. Some are rapists. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some are murderers. <laughs> I, what I'm saying is our society, what they try to do, even all the way to 2020 and all the way back to Jesus' time, I want to label you. Because you, I'm just saying, you remember you brought the verse up last Sunday. Let not a person be accused, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, not as an evildoer. As an evildoer. Yeah, don't let them suffer like that. Just don't suffer right. for that sake. Right. Yeah. You see, my point is why? Why they want to call you that? So, so they can justify the punishment that they they, the, they can justify they their action towards you. Yeah. They can they can discredit you, right? Mm -hmm. But I think, like you said, it justified the uh, their actions. There's a scripture that that um that that uh, Jesus that was spoken to Mary that, that, that I kind of remember for this occasion like this. He said, the angel told me, he said, an arrow shall pierce through your heart that the thoughts of many might be revealed. Uh -huh. She was going to be hurt to really that the people's hearts might be revealed. Like we right. said, Trump is a manifestation of the, the desires of the people. That's how he got an office, because that's what they wanted. He, he, he became their representative in large. So when they killed Jesus, there was no reason to kill him. There was absolutely nothing that they had improved and otherwise it was their own hearts that was revealed in them crucifying him but didn't so, they, didn't they, elder, elder didn't they uh pontius Pilate wrote a charge on the cross about jesus he he behold the king of the jews yep <laughs> that was that was that was the that was that's what the charge mm -hmm. uh meaning what, you know, bitch, what that was more like uh, that was more like a that's kind of like rebellion right because Caesar remember they said that in the, in the scriptures I mean before they have a one God and we don't have a one God Caesar's our God <laughs> or Caesar's our king we only have yeah. one king yeah, king. yeah that's what he said 
Yeah, everybody else was something else, like a tea trot governor, you know, something of that nature. But there was no kings okay. in the empire, or all those kings was subordinate to, you know, Rome. Right? Right. So I'm saying that that's what the charge he put on the cross, the king of the Jews. And even the uh, Pharisees wanted him to change it, right? They, right. They, they, they wanted to say he called himself the king of the Jews. And I guess maybe that wasn't a charge that, was, uh, that could be put in the book. So they had to put the right charge in there. But my real point is that the society needs you to operate or at least want to be able to call you what you said in that. You remember the script right here. Let me go back to it. I just want to show Bishop where I'm trying to come from. Is the fact is that uh, society wants to label you. Here it is, right? One second. Got to find the key here. Society wants to label you as verse 15. It could be one of those categories, but society wants to say, let no, this is what the scripture is trying to tell you, don't let happen, but this is what society uses to justify punishment toward people or for movements. You know, like the, we were talking, the elders were talking about, remember, you know, you know Antifa? Yeah. And, and the thing about it is, he did want to, he said he wanted to uh, make them a terrorist group. Yeah. He forgot about the other group. I mean, see, he's not emphasizing the other group. They ain't emphasizing the KKK. They're not emphasizing the skinheads. But he wanted to make the other group a, a terrorist group. Right. Why? Because it fits into your narrative. The script that you brought up, Elder, it said, let none of you suffer. And that's how the enemy wants to be able to be. The enemy wants to sit there and say, I'm trying to take the, the high road. And the only way I can take the high road if I label you as something that points toward guilt. Right. There was a they had a there was a situation uh, when Barabbas was arrested. Yeah. Barabbas come on. was an insurrectionist. Come uh, he, on. He was actually doing rebellion. Come on. And he suffered as an evildoer in, in come on. because he was a part of the insurrection. Come on. And the admonition for us was don't be a part of that. So what you're saying to them, the compliance is the is the the met, method that Christ that the kingdom is employing right now. Right. Is always the method. But in this dispensation, he is telling us comply. 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 Well, I, th I think what I'm saying is that it's not a fight or flight situation because you fight, you're not representing the kingdom. If you fight, you ain't representing the kingdom. It's like yeah, it's right. A, Cause I like the fact is you know one of those scriptures says stand right yeah you know, and that's the one. It, 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 well, all you do all you do is stand stand there for and, right? and the Lord never tells us not to address injustice and yeah. my friend would be lying if we did and, and if we're not we're not called a lie right but what He is asking us is not to address it in accordance with the world system come on now don't that's... use the cardinal response to address even injustice yeah He said bless your bless them that curse you. Come on, Pray man. them that despitefully use you and persecute you. If they ask you to go on one mile, go on them twenty. They take this <laughs> off to be close, you cut off school. So now we are supposed to be out there blessing Donald Trump. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> like, but Elder, at the same time, at the same time, he's not saying not to to speak. Don't not to address all, the issue. Right? No. We gotta tell the truth. I think I think that's what people think that the church is supposed to be silent on issues. Ew. No, no. It's just that the church should stand. Matter of fact, the church should not compromise with bad behavior. I think no. what the church has done, and even King did this, it was a sidestep. Those people weren't weren't racist because of their, you know, their just their views and their practices. They were racist because their hearts were corrupt. The fix wasn't the right laws, as we see the laws are on the book, but their yeah. hearts were still corrupt, so they break the law. They modify 
they, they, they literally rewrite, or not even write, they ignore laws that are on the book because their heart can't align with it. So the law didn't have now the same power it didn't have then. Right. The law didn't make the Israelites righteous. Neither did the civil rights law make white people righteous. They were still corrupt. And the only thing that could really get to them was when they accepted Jesus Christ. And our behaviors are supposed to be those things that work toward that end to right. come to repentance on a, on a personal level. Yeah. Personal yeah. repentance. So the best thing that could happen right now for us, the most ideal, and I say from the kingdom perspective, is that Donald Trump repents and be saved. Right. I mean, we, we can stop his actions, but that's not going. That's not going to change his heart. If we stop his actions, he still. We. And I say we. I'm going to say as, as a body, we stand a chance of losing his soul. And our objective is to gain his soul to the to the king. I mean, to the kingdom. So we we have to, in our prayers, even I know that we should be approaching this to gain this man's soul. Lord, what do you want to do for this man in, in order to bring him to you? Right. Now, Christ gets a hold of him. He owns everything that he had to include the position that he's sitting in. Right. So can he can can he save Donald Trump? And can that be in, in such a manner that Donald Trump is testifying to the glory of God on a global level? Because this guy has a global audience right now. Right. If he got saved, can you imagine how it would affect the whole world if he really got saved? Come on now. Come on. That would and be what, a and I, right, that'd be a message. In yes, sir. It wouldn't uh, be. But I, I still just saying is that uh, God's way, Christ's way, the kingdom of God's way makes a difference. It makes an impact. And it's everlasting. It, it, yeah, I know it. You're right. If you do it the kingdom's way, you can make changes. And, and here, Elder, I did this for you. <laughs> this is this is something I think you'll really appreciate. Uh, I'm, I'm picking on you for reading. Uh, Robert, if you want to read, let us know. <laughs> the what now? If you want to read, let us know. We'll call on you, buddy. If no, not, no, I go ahead. Help. I'm just, I'm just listening to the day. Hey, Amen. I'm good. That's a good. I, I figured that. I ain't want to make, put that on you. Yeah. But, uh, Elder, I got another one for you. Okay. And 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 this one definitely uh, emphasized verse 19. But go ahead and, and read that 12 to 19. 12, okay. On the next day, much people that would come to the feast, when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him and cried, Hosanna, blessed is the king of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord. And Jesus, when he had found a young ass, sat there on him, as it is written, Fear not, daughters of Zion. Behold, that king come and sitting on an ass's coat. These things understood not his disciples at the first. But when Jesus was glorified, then remembered they that these things were written of him, and that they had done these things unto him. The people, therefore, that were with him when he called Lazarus out of his grave and raised him from the dead, bear record. For this cause the people also met him, but they that they, they for that they heard that he had done this miracle. The Pharisees therefore said among themselves, Perceive you how I mean perceive ye how ye prevail nothing? Behold, the world is going after him. And then, did you did you catch the part about the fact is behold the world? Yep. <laughs> and look, they they in that little small little country. But they perceive this the whole world is going after them. And then another piece I want to throw out there is they did you see that said perceive that you prevail nothing? Yep. Robert, what it's saying is that the enemy, when you talk about dealing with social injustice and anything else, they are going actively against you. They're doing things that the belittle you uh to 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 make you make minor impacts make you irrelevant you know and, and they're taking up all the all the way level right this from all the king they they took it all the way to the point just like they did with jesus they took it all the way to the point where they they tried to they kill they tried to kill him. Mm -hmm. they did kill him. 
<laughs> well, and the thing about this, I'm gonna throw at Jesus though. The fact is that they they only killed Jesus when Jesus laid his life down. Amen. And if you even look at models of King, there probably been different attempts. There was a woman, remember back in the '60s, there was one woman yeah, stabbed him in the heart with a toothpick, right? With a toothpick or a knife? I think it was a. I thought it was a toothpick. No, I said toothpick. I mean, I said toothpick. An ice, an ice, ice pick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, an ice pick. Uh, stabbed him in the heart. So I think he had different types of people. You know, uh, Hoover, who, J. Ever Hoover went against him. Yep. Right? <laughs> there was a lot of, they tried to discredit him. Uh, remember they trying to adultery? An adultery? Mm -hmm. they, 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 they went over that. Uh, the troublemaker and another thing. Uh, then, like you said, in Martin Luther King, though, before he died, I think, wait, a couple weeks before he died, or maybe the night before, I'm not sure, he, he did and said, I, I may not get there with you. I think it was the night before. Was it the night before? I think it so was. So it's kind of like a... a, a when uh, he, he prophesied his own death. Exactly. And who else did that? <laughs> Malcolm did that. Yeah. Jesus I, did that, too. I said, Jesus, Jesus did that. Jesus yep. did it. <laughs> it, did you catch you catch the pattern there? Yeah, yeah. But but they, it, even Martin uh, Luther King, he he said that you know I have done what I. He basically he said, said I did to the mountain top. Yep. See what I'm saying? Yep. I, I don't reach the mountain top. I've seen the promised land. And I've seen the promised land. Come on now. Come <laughs> I on might now. I'm with you. <laughs> but we as a people. We as but, people. But I, what it made us saying is though is that the changes was made doing it the will of God's way. Oh yeah. And 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 that's why I was trying to show that it is easy. Matter of fact, you know, we start off uh Robert, let you know, we start off with Philippians 3.10 before we said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. But as you know, a lot of cases we did the, the, we did a lot of people like to read about the fellowshipping of his suffering. Right. Mm. Being conformable unto his death. Right? We you know, I wanna know him. <laughs> I wanna know his power. Yeah. But the rest of that we, you know, if we can if we can bypass that rest, we can <laughs> we leave that alone. Yeah. <laughs> but but the, the bar right out the, the fellowship of his suffering is there too. That's right. <laughs> but what I like with the fact is that even Martin the King, doing God's way, the King of God's way, it impact the world. What yeah. Jesus did impact the world. And, and that's, I think that's why I'm saying is that if we do it Jesus' way, if we're going to move forward and, and, and focus on the, the uh, Addressing social injustice, I, 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 what we said uh, Bishop last Sunday was, do it the way Jesus did it. If you want to find out how to how to respond and how to do things, he is our example. Uh -huh. He is our example. And uh -huh. matter of fact, Elder, this is the last this one last one for, for Bishop. He gonna say something in a minute, but this is the last one I wanted to show you. As, as something that that is not Jesus, but his followers. In this case, we're talking about somebody who didn't walk with Jesus. Somebody, he met him on the road of Damascus, right? The masters. <laughs> right? So, yep. so, so read that, Elder. That, that's one through five. I think it's, I think it's another slide to go with it, but go ahead and read that slide first. And when they had passed through and filled with us, for us and Amphipolis and of Apollonia, they came to Thessalonica, where was a synagogue of the Jews. And Paul, as a man of words, went in unto them, and three Sabbath days reasoned with them out of the scripture, opening and alleging that Jesus must first need have suffered and risen again from the dead, and that this Jesus whom I preach unto you is Christ. Come on now. And some of them believed and consorted with Paul and Silas and of the of devout Greeks, a great multitude, and of women, not a few. 
Come on now. But the Jews, which believed not, moved with envy, took upon them, but took it unto them, I'm sorry, took unto them certain lewd fellows of the base of sort, and gathered a company, and set all the city on, on an uproar, and assaulted the house of Jason, and bought and sought to bring them out to the people. Yeah. And when they found them not, they drew Jason, they drew Jason and certain brethren into the rulers of the cities, crying, "These that have turned the world upside down are coming to the, yep, these that have turned the world upside down." And man, ain't that something? And that's See? a fact. The the power, uh, no my, these on, that have turned the world upside down are come hither also. Come on. Whom Jason has received, and these all do contrary to the decree of Caesar. Come on. That there is another king, one Jesus. Come on. And they troubled the people and the, and the rulers of the city when they heard these things. Come on. And when they had taken security of Jason and of the others, they let them go. Now, now, and see, the emphasis I want to put out there, Robert, is even all after Jesus, and, and we're doing what they're doing, what Jesus told them to go preach the gospel, that the perception, Elder, was that the system, the kingdoms you're talking about, the world systems we're talking about, are perceived as being turned upside down. God's way, God's will, if we do it, he, he told us to go preach the kingdom. And then he didn't say for us not to tie in the words with today's uh, situations, but changes can be made because even back then you saw that the, you, we read earlier where the Pharisees said, y'all prevail in nothing. The whole world is going after him. Then we get followers after Jesus, right? And they sitting there saying, you turning the whole world upside down. Legit. The body of Christ, Elvin, you said it all the time, the body of Christ yeah. following the kingdom, preaching the gospel, yep. can 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 turn the system upside yeah. down. Upside down. Yep. Totally yep. undo it. There, there, if, if we look at it, even though it don't sound like we're winning, where's the Roman government? Come on now. No more. Well, you're right, because you, if you go back to what you just said, though, even when they thought it was over with, when they put Jesus on the cross. That was just a start. It ah, just, it, it just it looked, looked, you see what I'm saying? It just yep. looked like, it just looked like. Yep. But it was not. Yep. The Roman, Empire, the Roman Empire is not here, but Jesus is here. Jesus is. Come and on, the, man. Many governments that have risen and fallen, even the Union of Soviet Socialist Russia. Come and on one, now. There was not a lot of Bible in the Union of Soviet Socialist Russia. Where is it now? Where is the USSR? <laughs> but where is the kingdom? We forget, I forget, that this thing started over 2,000 years ago, over 6,000 miles away from him in another language. Come on. And it had moved all the way from over there <laughs> to this country, to where we're sitting right now, 2,000 years later, speaking a different language, submitted to the same man that these people were submitted to 2,000 years before. Come on, brother. 6,000 miles away from him. Tell me it ain't real. No nation that has encountered Christ has overwhelmed him. And I'm saying it works. It works. It, it works. works. <laughs> It I'm works. just saying is, hey, look, Black Lives Matter, it works if you put Jesus behind it. If you find the fact is that all lives matter yep. in the name of Jesus, Amen. if we put the fact is that Jesus suffered, but Jesus rose again, and the power of God can rest upon all of you, if you're going through strange trials and tribulation, if you're standing up in the name of Jesus, think it not strange, but by fact, don't be ashamed because you're standing on the right side and you are, G Elder, we talked about it. This we talked about it last week. Your death, preaching the gospel, standing up to injustice, being approached by a police or anybody else to sit there and try to do something against you. If you, Elder, what that's an Elder brought up the first time we're talking about uh, George Floyd. If he had called on the name of Jesus, what would have happened? 
Come on now. And even if he had, hey, look, Albert, even if he had died, yep. it still would have been glorified. God. It yeah. still yeah, yeah. would have made an impact. Father, forgive me for it. No, not what they do. <laughs> Come on, brother. Come on, brother. It would have been Come father to me. Some boy might even repent it on the spot. Man, <laughs> that, that, that's, and see, what we're sitting there saying is, because that's that's a good point there to recognize that that was not done but we're talking about how we as the body of christ move forward yeah now in the compliance and if i still remember Bre brother chris was saying is that well i comply and i still get myself beat up uh, if i you know if i fight i get myself beat up i mean what, what i'm going to do if you still do it jesus way <laughs> Somebody gonna get saved. Glorifying God. Somebody gonna doing get Jesus way. You make a change. Who is that? And I, like you said, I, it would be question if sit there and somebody say, "I'm calling on the name of Jesus, man." Police officer, I don't know what you want. Here's his ID. <laughs> Whatever you want. <clears throat> but I'm just to let you know, I'm not standing here on my own. I'm not standing here by myself. I'm not walking this by myself. Because he told me he'll never leave me nor forsake me. I'm standing and I'm coming and I'm talking in the name of the Lord. All right. So I'm praying for him. Come on, brother. Help him. <laughs> His soul is obviously lost. He needs to make contact with you. He's dead. He trust fast and sin. Everybody's going to be acting like this. Come on, brother. Hey, look. Hey, look. I like that, uh, that, that guy in Georgia, if y'all know recently, uh, the one that. Uh, they arrested because they thought he was uh, the guy with the, the warrants, and they came up behind him in the back and slammed him on the ground. I, I don't know if y'all, I think it happened last week or two weeks ago. A man was uh, arrested and didn't let go because they found out he wasn't the one they were looking for. But in the arresting part, they slammed him on the ground and broke his wrist. Was that the one that was calling on Jesus? Huh? Was that the one that was calling on Jesus? I don't think, I don't remember, I saw the video, he didn't see him call on Jesus, but he did say after the, they let him go, he said he forgave them. Amen. Yeah, but then he did around, he uh, sued him, which I don't blame, I don't blame him, you should be sued. You know, <laughs> but, but my point is, how powerful would it be uh, that if they pull you over, Robert, and, and, and you give them your license, and they still say, get out of the car, you get out of the car, they said, they, they said you, we're going to put you under arrest. They said, okay, in the name of Jesus, I just wanted you to know God's with me. I don't know how you're doing it, but all I know is that Jesus Christ is my person, Lord and Savior. And I hope you are a Christian. And if you are a Christian, then you should know what you're supposed to be doing. If this is your job, if you're doing it right, that's fine. But if not, I'm letting you know Jesus is my person, Lord and Savior. <laughs> I literally think that now the church should be openly praying for Donald Trump. And that's in compliance with what God has commanded us as his people to do. He says in in, in, in Chron 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if my people would you call by my name, right. I'm going to pray and stuff like that. But also he tells us specifically in another place that we should pray for our national leaders. Yeah. Now the church takes that attitude. I believe God will. Right. So obviously, what we do ain't, ain't working. You know what I'm saying? The laws been passed decades ago. People's hearts are still corrupt. Right. We got from under the bondage and, and bound ourselves and other stuff. We are the one with we are women shaking the booties all over the place and and, 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 and twerking and, 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 and pants dropping and cussing and getting on out in the public. Who else is doing that kind of stuff? We got well, I, I, I think all I think all I'm doing now, the, 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 the young ones, the young ones, and, and, and don't forget there's people sitting there. Uh, I just want to throw that at you is that you know Epstein, Epstein. Oh yeah. You remember he he took the rich folks out to the island, oh, yeah. and brought those young girls out there, and they well, who like, like all kind of a fool on yeah, that who, island. I, I know that you know I I I don't I don't think it's just. Uh, a particular race of people. I'm just telling you, all of them acting like a fool somewhere or another. Of course. Of course. You know, but, but my point I'm saying the is that have been selected. You, you're, supposed to, you're supposed to pray for your enemies, right? That's that what the scripture said. Bless them who persecute you, right? Amen. You're Bless supposed to do that. 
Now, but the thing it is, Israel was selected to be an example of God's righteousness in the earth. So they were supposed to lead the way. You right. got out of slavery, and I don't know, 1863, 1865, to 19 to 2020, we go from being legal slaves in the place to being the chief officer, executive officer in the whole world. Right. God's hand wasn't with us. Of course, God's hand was with us. Else, why we wouldn't have been able to make that move? Well, you know, but you remember, you remember one of the things that I liked was in the uh, toward the lean up to the Civil War was the Quakers. Was the fact is that when they did the underground movement, they the slaves are seen. Christian songs in the field. Amen. And and they was using those songs to to encourage and guide and warn those who were running, right? Cause they talk about they use the song Moses going to the promised land. Right, right. Come on now. Yeah. Come on now. I I, I don't I don't think most of them were uh, the slave work became Christians. I ain't, I ain't talking about when they first came here. <laughs> But the worst thing that the slave owners could have done, but they did, was they opened the gospel to the slaves. That's right. And one now, thing about that, to be a, a good servant, you had to be humble. Uh huh. You had to be accustomed to listening to somebody tell you what to do. Yeah. It's like pre training for us. We're about to be listening to the slave masters. Yeah. And now we're positioned to listen to our God. Right. In other words, they 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 unintentionally read the gospel, right? Amen. And and even though they had the same quote unquote slave Bibles, meaning we ain't gonna give you everything that's in the Bible, we're gonna give you some wrong ideas, but they they left out that one key ingredient was the gospel of Jesus. You can't matter of fact, you can't you can't hide that from the, that wasn't hidden in the slave Bible. It was other things hidden in the slave Bible. But the gospel about yeah. Jesus Christ right. died on the cross, third day rose again for us right. to pay for our sins. That, that piece of the gospel resonated no matter what. And the, and the fellowship was reestablished. Yeah. It to speak to us. Yeah. yeah. As it says in Proverbs, there's a time of war and there's a time of peace. If we had made war then, everybody that, that, that rebelled during that period of time was put Yeah. Put down, they were destroyed. So and we were you? held in the crevice, but we were held in the rock. Right. Until the time was right. Did you remember?